Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla FSD Beta 10.9 comes with navigation map update and brings improved unprotected left turns and more. Elon Musk says, fixing Tesla heat pump issue a high priority as a new software fix to recalibrate expansion valve rolls out. Tesla adds cargo hooks to rear trunk of made in China Model Y, parcel shelf added to owner's manual. Tesla Model Y gets range increase in Germany, performance deliveries begin in March. And, Tesla lowers Model 3 range estimates in Europe due to extra power consumption of AMD Ryzen processor. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla has started deploying the latest version of their full self-driving, FSD Beta 10.9, released recently, in the 2021.44.30.10 update. Along with the update, Tesla is also including a long-awaited, navigation map update. According to the hacker, Green the Only, the new map version in North America, is 2021.44.13.55.5, while owners in China, will receive 2021.4.13.66.8. According to the official release notes of FSD Beta 10.9, shared by JeerKing23 on Twitter, the update includes a number of improved behaviors. The one that will probably make a lot of beta testers happy is a change to unprotected left-hand turns, which Tesla says are now more natural. The update appears to be limited right now to employees only, but it should be sent out to the public testers soon just before the price of the FSD suite of features increases to $12,000 in the US. Moving to the next update, Elon Musk says, fixing Tesla heat pump issue a high priority as a new software fix to recalibrate expansion valve rolls out. Despite two software updates to try and correct the issue, Tesla owners from around the world continue to experience heat pump failures in extremely cold temperatures. The failures mean the cars generate no heat, prompting an investigation from Transport Canada, following complaints from owners. The NHTSA is also seeking more information on the issue. Tesla has been largely silent about it all, leaving owners in the dark about what the actual problem is and if or when a fix will be available. Tesla CEO Elon Musk recently addressed the issue head-on. Responding to a tweet from Drive Tesla, he said, it is a high priority for the automaker. In a follow-up tweet, Musk said, a new update will be rolling out soon to recalibrate the heat pump expansion valve in another attempt to solve the problem. Musk did not clarify what version number this will be, but we believe it will be 2021.44.30.8, which was deployed to internal cars recently. The software update was likely validated by employees during the day and should start rolling out soon. This software fix may however be just a temporary one. In a lengthy Twitter thread recently, Trevor Page from Tesla Owners Online relayed some information from the Saskatchewan Tesla Owners Club received from a technician at Tesla Saskatoon. According to the information, one of the observed causes is the front air intake flap freezing in the open position. This allows extremely cold air to enter the system, preventing the heat pump from operating normally. The cold air passes a sensor, which tells the climate system it is failing, and the compressor stops. This software update should tell the system to keep working, despite those error messages, until Tesla can figure out a way to prevent this issue from occurring in the first place. Moving to the next update, Tesla adds cargo hooks to rear trunk of Made in China Model Y, parcel shelf added to owner's manual. Tesla is well known for making continuous improvements to their vehicles. The latest example of that is a change to the Model Y, made at Giga Shanghai. According to a recent update to the owner's manual, the rear trunk area in the Model Y now includes four hooks. The manual says, the hooks, two of which are located toward the front and two toward the back, are designed to be used with lashing devices to secure loose objects in the cargo area. If you are unfamiliar with a lashing device, it can be any device in the trunk area to keep objects in place. This is most commonly a mesh net 
as illustrated in the image in the owner's manual. The Tesla shop does not yet have a cargo net like this available for the Model Y. One should be added soon, as they do offer one for the Model X, which sells for $50. Along with the new cargo hooks, the owner's manual for made-in-China cars now also includes reference to the cargo cover, or as Tesla calls it a parcel shelf. Tesla describes it in the manual as follows. Model Y is equipped with a parcel shelf that covers the rear trunk cargo. This is useful when you want to conceal valuables, keep the sun away from groceries, or minimize noise from rustling objects. Simply push the shelf backward to fold it in, and pull the shelf forward to unfold it for use. To remove, fold the back panel and lift the parcel shelf upward with your hand underneath the bottom of the shelf to disengage the tabs and magnets in the front corners. Then slide the parcel shelf out. This new accessory was first spotted in China last year, and at the time, said to be offered as a free retrofit to existing owners, but we have yet to hear any confirmation of that. The North American version of the owner's manual do not mention either the cargo hooks or the parcel shelf, but as with everything else, Tesla introduces first in China. So we can expect these to make it to Fremont and Giga Texas soon. Moving to the next update, Tesla Model Y gets range increase in Germany, performance deliveries begin in March. Tesla has increased the estimated range of both Model Y variants available in Germany. The long range saw its range increase from 537 km to 565 km when equipped with the 19-inch Gemini wheels. With the 20-inch induction wheels, the range is now 533 km, up from 507 km. The performance variant can now travel 514 km on a full charge, up from the previous 480 km estimate. All estimates are based on the WLTP rating schedule, which is more generous than the North American EPA ratings. The change indicates, the electric SUV has received a new battery pack from LG, known as Y5LD. This pack has a capacity of 82 kilowatt hours, compared to the previous LG Y5CD battery that has a capacity of 77 kilowatt hours. Along with the range increase, another important change is the Model Y performance now has a specific estimated delivery date. Earlier, it was showing as early 2022 compared to the March 2022 date that is now displayed. We first told you this change could be happening after a new entry was recently discovered in the source code, however, the date in the code was May 2022. With a much shorter delivery window now, there is a good chance these performance SUVs could be coming from Giga Berlin. Also, the German design studio is only displaying March 2022 for black and white performance model Ys. It was previously suggested that Giga Berlin will start production with these colors. This all but confirms Tesla is now estimating March deliveries for Giga Berlin made cars. Also, customers with existing orders in Germany are seeing updates to their accounts in which they can now finalize their orders as seen in these images. They can progress as far as making the final payment, but it presents an error message for now. Customers that have orders for other colors are still being told they will be contacted as their delivery date nears. Moving to the last update, Tesla lowers Model 3 range estimates in Europe due to extra power consumption of AMD Arisen processor. Tesla made several changes to the Model 3 and Model Y configurations in Europe recently. The Model Y got a range increase, and conversely, the Model 3 long range saw its range estimate decrease. The change wasn't substantial, only dropping by 11 km or 12 km or 7 miles, depending on the wheels selected. There was seemingly no explanation for the change, as the source code didn't note a different battery pack that could lead to a lower range estimate. It turns out there was an explanation, and it is due to the new AMD Arisen processors. According to an internal email sent to European service centers recently, the details of which were shared with Drive Tesla, the new processors require more power than the previous Intel Atom processors, resulting in the slightly lower range estimate. The processor is no slouch, with up to 10 teraflops of processing power, 
enough to rival premium home gaming systems, like the PS5. Additionally, the rear-wheel drive and performance Model 3s didn't see their ranges adjusted because it had already been factored in when the estimated ranges were updated late last year. Interestingly, when the Risen processors launched in China, there was no corresponding range adjustment in that market. We have also not seen any similar range adjustments in North America. This could be due to different testing standards. Tesla first added the AMD Risen processors with the launch of the Model Y performance in China in December. The change was simultaneously made to the Model 3 and Model Y, with it appearing just one day later. It took a few more weeks to make it to North America, with Fremont-made cars gaining the feature in late December. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.